Have you ever had a student zone out while reading and wonder to himself, where am I? What did I just read? Well, visualizing can help. It's a powerful strategy for making mental images while you read. To introduce the strategy, explain to students that visualizing is picturing details from the text to increase their understanding. Begin with a brief read aloud. Have students close their eyes and picture what's happening in the reading with as many details as they can. Then have students talk about what they visualized. Then explain that you are going to do a quick sketch of what you visualized. Making your sketch unpolished will emphasize for your students that they should work quickly and not concern themselves with artistic quality. To build the connection between visual details and higher level meaning, ask questions to draw out the student's interpretation of the picture. Then share your interpretation. Model how visual details connect with key concepts and themes. Reinforce how specific details support larger ideas. Next, move to guided practice. Read aloud another passage and allow students to sketch their interpretation while listening. In pairs or groups of three, have students take turns sharing their picture and having the group members offer their interpretations. Students should not explain their own pictures until all the other group members have commented. As a whole group, discuss how visualizing helps them understand the text. For independent practice, allow students to sketch while reading and answering comprehension questions. Require students to cite the text to support their answer. You may even ask them to include quotes from the text on their drawing. Visualizing templates can vary from a blank page to a story strip or sequence chain. Some students may need portions of the graphic organizer filled in to help them get started. Visualization can aid comprehension in other content areas. For social studies, students can picture historical contexts and make stronger connections. In science, sketching a concept like photosynthesis or diagramming a cell helps students to see how all of the details fit together. There are many other ways to incorporate visualization, but remember it's not about drawing a pretty picture. By creating mental images, students can better comprehend, remember, and analyze what they read.